Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today, and in this very quick GarageBand for iOS quick tip, I'm going to be showing you the quickest way that I know to get a finished project here from our iPad in GarageBand onto our PC via iTunes using the file sharing. So, let's go. Okay, so you can see we've got our iPad up here now. We've just finished this song. This is a cover version of Credence Clearwater Revival's Bad Moon Rising that I've just finished recording. So I'm going to go back to my songs. And here it is here on my iPad. I'm going to select, select, and tap on this song here to select it. And then hit the share button here in the bottom left corner. Tap on share. And that's gonna pop up here where we can go, we wanna uh, export it, we're gonna go song. So we've tapped on song, and then it's gonna pop up and ask us what sort of quality. We're gonna go an uncompressed wave and hit share. It's gonna go off and do its thing. Actually, first it's gonna ask us where to share it to. Now I could hit iTunes right here. What it's gonna do there though, is it'll put it in our GarageBand file transfer folder, which I don't recommend because it's a lot easier if we put it straight here in GarageBand folder, it means we can access it directly from iTunes, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So we're going to hit open in, and now it's going to go ahead and do its thing. It's going to export the song, which we can see it doing now. It'll take a couple of minutes just to do that. What we're going to do once it's exported is actually tell it to save it into our files app, and you can save it anywhere. You can save it to your iCloud drive. You can save it to any other shared storage, but the problem there is it'll take a while to upload. So you're going to have to wait while it uploads to your Dropbox, your OneDrive, your iCloud drive before you can actually access it again. So what I'm going to do here is tap on Save to Files, and it's going to bring up my options here in the Files app. I'm going to do On My iPad, and I'm going to tap GarageBand. And I'm not going to go to GarageBand Files Transfer, File Transfer, I'm just going to leave it on GarageBand and hit Add. Uh, it's going to tell me I've already got one there because I've just done this before. Let's replace the WAV file we already have there. So that's done now. It's actually replaced it in here. And if we just hit Done on that, we should be able to find it. No, it won't be able to find it in here because it's a WAV file, it's not a supported file. But if we went to our Files app, it would actually be in that location as a WAV file right here in this GarageBand folder with all the rest of our projects. So what I'll do now is we'll get rid of the iPad, we'll send you over there. Let's bring in iTunes now. So we'll bring iTunes across here. We've got our iPad already plugged in, and now if I tap on, not tap on, if I click on the iPad, this is where you go in and you set up your uh, your iPad here in, uh, in iTunes. But you'll notice over here on the left, there's a file sharing option. So I'm gonna tap on, tap on, click on the file sharing option there, and then click on GarageBand. And what it's brought up here is all of these projects. So the default folder, this is what I was saying before, there's a GarageBand file transfer folder here, it's 305 meg. If I wanted to save that now, I need to do save to and save that entire folder. So just to get that one file out, I need to save the whole folder. But what I can do now is actually just click on this one WAV file, hit save to, tell it where I wanna save it, which is in this folder where I've got my project, select folder, it says again, do I replace it, uh, which I will replace it. It's copying it across, and then it will be done. So if I jump in here and grab this folder and drag it across here to show you, here is this WAV file ready to go to add to my video to do what I want to do with it. So that is, in my opinion, the quickest and easiest way to get your projects across. And if you've already a step ahead of me, you'd realize that Getting your projects over to here is another good way to back them up because what I can do now is with any of these that I have, all these horrible My Band ones, but I can click or I can shift click and then do a save too. And it's gonna save all of those .band files as a folder onto my PC. So I can then easily back it up onto my hard drive, onto an external USB, however I wanna manage it. So another great way to manage your files here in GarageBand. That is it, I told you it would be a quick tip, but it's a super useful one if you use an iOS device, an iPad or an iPhone, and you use iTunes on a PC here. Very similar process for a Mac, but I'm a PC user, so that's what I'm showing you here. That's a quick way to get your final projects or even your project files over onto your PC. Thanks for watching. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below, and I'll see you on the next video.